Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your a weekly singles love reading for Scorpio. How are you guys? I hope all's well, Scorpio. Ooh, there we go. So you have the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, things are moving kind of slow, slow and steady. Someone's assessing a situation. Yeah, someone here, like I say, moving forward calmly and peacefully. Somebody's assessing it. There's more things they need to know. But it's also, yeah, you can see, it's the start of something new, the Empress. This is someone who wants to know something. So they're just assessing it. They're moving slow. Yeah, it's about taking time to get to know someone or whether or not they should just move on to avoid a disaster. This could be yourself, but it has to do with whether someone's open. Now we know the Empress is always open to talk, to communicate. It could be somebody coming in to make peace. Yeah. Yeah, I feel your sword's out. Yeah, you're trusting your intuition, your inner knowing. I feel like there's an energy of someone here who moves slow. I think you're going to avoid someone. You're going to avoid a disaster here. Because you're. I feel you're seeing the truth. Yeah, your sword's out, Scorpio. Yeah, you kind of feel like there's a, not a lot of hope here. Now, it's possible there's something that you may have said here to someone that made them kind of slow down. But like I say, there's a lot of negative thinking, cup half empty. I feel like this is just someone here that it, there's just something that it, it it's a lack of emotion. It's someone who's withdrawn. Um, they're looking at the cups that are spilled like there's no hope. Yeah, I feel like you're going to avoid someone. I feel like you kind of see the truth here. Yeah, it has to do with stability. It has to do with partnering up. Someone here is not stable emotionally right now. So I feel like you're going to avoid something. Now, it's possible this person did this with yourself. You may have said something here. But you know, this is your own inner knowing. Yeah, you can see there's been some baggage, some heartache. So someone here has let go of something. Now, that hurts. So it could be hurt feelings where your sword was up. Often this is someone who's been hurt. Someone here could have um, some remorse for hurting you. They could be coming in wanting to make peace. Like I see baggage has been released. It has to do with someone taking responsibility, being accountable, reliable. Yeah, Cause, but there's definitely been some hurt. Yeah, you got someone coming in. Like I say, you've got, I, I really feel like you're going to avoid a person here who's dragging their feet. They're moving too slow. I feel like you just know the truth. This is somebody here. Like I say, it's an energy of making a choice, a wise choice decision. Somebody, it's about someone here who's not stable for someone who is. It doesn't feel safe and secure. It doesn't feel right. Yeah. So like I say, just letting this go, baggage being released, it's someone who's not reliable, yeah, but you've got, and it could be this person coming in, this is somebody your wish is their command, so you definitely have a person who wants to talk and ask you out, now it could be that they've been through hurt, maybe you know the truth, you are speaking truth, the truth or nothing but the truth, so there's something here about this negative energy, this person focusing on the cups that were spilled, yeah, see, it has to do with someone who needs to heal. Yeah, so it's an energy of someone here who needs to heal. There's no doubt. Look at something that happens suddenly. We have butterflies there. This is your self-transformation, going through some sort of internal transformation, a healing. Beautiful. There's more butterflies, community. So this is community, a place maybe where you go and socialize. Someone's around you. There's somebody here who's stable. But I feel it's this person, too. I think you know the truth. I mean, we have the Empress here. This is the start of something new, but I feel there's an energy of needing to know more. I think it's yourself going to take your time. It's kind of slow and steady. It's telling you to kind of just, you know, there's more that needs to be learned, but it does look like making peace with the past, leaving the past in the past, taking the lessons learned. You become wise. You become discerning. So... Yeah, I feel like you got, there's been some hurt, somebody here who's been hurt. Someone wants to communicate. They want to ask you out. Now, I don't know if this is someone hurt you, hurt their feelings. I don't know if they were, you know, assessing the situation or what. Yeah, it's a person at a crossroads, a choice. Someone's making a choice here. Tell me about this three of wands. What happened? Or three of swords. What happened with this? 
this hurt and heartache. Yeah. So somebody when they were, it's a youthful energy. Someone when they were young. Did you hurt somebody when you were young? <laughs> Is this somebody coming in to make peace, making peace with the past? Yeah. Maybe you hurt this person when they when they were young. This is a, a little boy playing with a boat in the water, feeling emotional, playing in the water. Somebody with water in their chart. Yeah, I don't know if this is someone who's been hurt or maybe you knew this person. This is interesting community. Something's about to transform. It has to do with stability. So tell me about this Knight of Cups. What does this person want? Is it their, your wish is their command? I mean, they're coming in to talk. Yeah, they're at a crossroads time in their life. It's someone who's taking, it could be an apology too. So I don't know if there was a third party or what happened or somebody got hurt feelings when they were young. But it's a person at that crossroads. Yeah, they want to start something. This is a person who's pretty happy. They see that somebody who sees the bigger picture. Yeah, it has to do with a house, a home, a reason to celebrate. This is some person stable. They have everything they need. I see, oh my gosh. There's some sort of event coming up. I feel like you're getting an invitation. Now, did you date this person when you were young? Was there a hurt third party or just some heartache or hurt feelings? It looks probably more like hurt feelings. It's all, someone here maybe even reminiscing about this, but if you knew this person when you were young, I feel they're older now. They're coming in to talk. It has to do with the house, a home, marriage. I feel it's like catching up. I don't know if you're just catching up with someone. The crossroads, maybe you, you've run into this person. But there's happiness here. This is like the Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment. But it's also the start of something new because you see there's a reason to celebrate. A windfall of abundance, I feel. There's some sort of gathering, the Feast of Plenty. See, this is someone who has everything they need. I think you're going to get an invitation to something here. Boy, this, I didn't expect this. I did not expect this card. I don't know if there was, you know, somebody you hurt their feelings when you were young or they hurt yours. I don't know. But it's a youthful energy. It's emotion. It's a boat. You see the boat, the ship. There's just all this time in between. So you may have known this person young and there's all this time in between where they there's things that need to be known. Yeah, look at that. All this time in between, the crossroads. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. This is someone who focuses a lot on work. So maybe it's somebody who was working. Maybe you just went your separate ways. But we have an Empress now. Yeah, protection. So this is energy of protection from the elements, the weather. So someone taking their time. Yeah, so I do see opportunity. See, there's some sort of confusion, some sort of opportunity here. Tell me about the Empress. What is the Empress up to? The feminine energy, the divine feminine. Yeah, I see an adventure. I feel like you're open to adventures here. I see this adventuresome spirit. I see someone doing their due diligence rising above the fray someone's doing this is yourself doing your due diligence and diligence you want to know the truth you're speaking your truth too you're telling someone the truth maybe why you went your separate ways or you're at a crossroads time in your life there's choices choices have consequences so this is why it's saying do your due diligence but there's some sort of opportunity something is hidden it's confusing uh, the moon has to do with this is where you you're protecting yourself. I feel like you're going slow. You're protecting yourself. Mm -hmm. You're doing the due diligence. This is good, but there's something to do with this person in your community. There's community, some sort of transformation. Let's grab. Tell me more about the community. There we go. Yeah, so some sort of change or relocation movement. This has to do with growth and a lot of change. Change for the better. Uh, to do so there's a lot of growth uh, abundance uh, possibly even relocating uh, i see the queen of cups yeah feeling kind compassionate loving nurturing and forgiving here but you see you're doing your due diligence you want love i can see you want love yeah there's a connection you and this person are going to connect now this community there could be friends of friends so this could be somebody that you already know. Now, I feel, like I say, I feel like you're open to love here. 
you know, this is an energy of looking forward. Yeah, this is waiting for a situation to come to fruition. See, some of you are the third wheel, <laughs> but it's an energy of waiting for a situation to come to fruition. It's an energy of expansion. There's some kind of expansion. Yeah, you've got a cup. You, you're, you've got this cup coming in, but it almost looks like you're giving it to someone. You're offering them the cup. Now, I don't know if this is someone who's not quite ready or what. But like I say, it's about doing the due diligence, speaking up, speaking your mind, speaking the truth, wanting to know the truth. Yeah, I feel like you're going to tell someone the truth about how you feel. You may be offering this cup, but like I say, it could be something you're waiting for. Yeah, solid, reliable, dependable. Yeah, I wonder if there's someone you knew when you were young. Maybe it was a crush or there were some hurt feelings or something. There's going to be truth, but it actually feels... You know, it's emotional, it's emotional, it's an opportunity, an invitation. This is someone coming in. Now, they're either going to apologize or, like you say, their wishes, your, your wish is their command. Yeah, no, it's someone who feels they missed an opportunity. Yeah, they feel like they missed an opportunity. This is reminiscing. Someone's reminiscing. Like I say, it's playful, childlike. Um, it's not immature, though, because I feel the Feast of Plenty. This person has a lot of abundance. I feel they're going to invite you to their home. No, I, maybe it's yourself thinking of cooking, but I feel like it's telling you to be wise. Take the lessons you learned from the past. Don't offer up that cup to someone. Wait for this person to offer it to you. Because I feel someone going, thanks, but no thanks, or missing an opportunity. Don't miss this opportunity. Because this, I feel this is somebody who, like I say, they either rejected you or they ignored you. See, some kind of truth. Someone here is coming in to speak the truth. I think it's going to be an apology here. Yeah, it has to do with when you were young. I feel like there was hurt feelings. You hurt their feelings. They're going to tell you. But it, it, it's all, it's okay though. Because they're smiling. You hurt my feelings when we were young. And I feel as there's some truth, yeah, tempering the passions, tempering the emotions, being patient. Yeah, this is somebody different, trying something different. Um, this person is different than your usual type, or they're different than how they were before. So, but it has to do with being patient. It's telling you to be patient. Give this person the opportunity. They're coming in. But I feel if you hurt this person, I feel they're all good. Now, if they hurt you, they're coming in to apologize. But it, like I say, it feels it, it feels like, it, to me, it looks like it's leading to, um, I mean, there's such a temptation here too. But yeah, trust your intuition, your inner knowing. See your inner knowing, you already know. You hurt this per person's feelings. Or they hurt yours, I don't know. But like I say, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. They're happy. It's uh, This is someone who's happy to either hear from you. Okay. What have you got going on? The crossroad. I feel like you went your separate ways with someone. Maybe you went to school because I do see uh, travel, movement, relocating. I see some sort of adventure. See, it's a spirit of adventure. But doing your due diligence. See, so... A little Sag energy here, that adventuresome spirit. So, but it's saying to trust your intuition, your inner knowing. This person may have Pisces in their chart. It's like they already know. It has to do with someone coming in peace. <laughs> peace and tranquility. There's, you know, it's an energy of avoiding anything. This is, yeah, I mean, it's all good. <laughs> Yeah, you hurt someone's feelings. Why well, were you in elementary school, junior high, high school? Yeah, young adult. That's interesting. Yeah, now we have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this person already knows. They see the truth. This is someone who's marriage material. It's a person who's stable. We have an empress. See, so you've mastered the elements of the empress. You're very grounded, practical, and sensible. But this person's coming in. I mean, this is the crossroads of time in their life. They're going to ask you out. You're crossing paths. That's what it is. You keep crossing paths with this person. That's what it is. You're crossing paths. Ooh. Scorpio. Yeah, this person is seeing it. They're asking you out. They're asking you out. There's no doubt. Yeah, they're going to tell you some kind of truth. 
You know, they see you as marriage material. Like, I'm going to tell you, this: when you were young, this person wanted to marry you. But there's something about you with this Queen of Pentacles, somebody who's kind of acts a little aloof, not sure. They weren't sure if you were interested. They see this person just wasn't sure if you were interested in them or not when you were young. But yeah, I feel this person's kind of witty, uh, quite charming, very much like the Queen of Swords, very witty. Like, I actually feel there's going to be something kind of funny here. Like, you're going to talk about this youthful energy. Either you hurt them or they hurt your feelings, or I think it's you hurt their feelings. You acted like you weren't really interested or they weren't sure. So, but yeah. This person is just speaking straight up. You're just going to say it like it is. But if there's truth, victory, and success. See? This is an energy of that aha moment. This is someone going, aha. So I don't know who's bringing it up. But like, like there's a little reminiscing here. I like this because I feel they're going to invite you out. The Feast of Plenty. Yeah, they're definitely, if they're looking to see if you're invested in anyone, it has to do with the timing. See, the timing wasn't right then. But it's funny, if they were young, they would have seen you as marriage material. But I think you're both going to be laughing about some stuff here. I just, I'm feeling a sense of her humor, dry wit, charm, you know. <laughs> a, little, a little dark humor in a funny way. Yeah, nothing heavy. It feels simple. So, but yeah, it's about being patient. See, being patient, investing. This person's going to just ask you straight up if you're seeing anyone. Oh, yeah. This person is someone longing for love. This is somebody who's been a heartbreaker, I'll tell you. But they're mature now and all grown up and they're going to ask you out. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio are just someone in their emotions. Oh, yeah. Let this person take the lead. Let them take the lead, okay? Yeah. Look at that. See, the spark is lit. This person, they find you attractive. You're different, but they still find you attractive. You both look different. Um, now some of you, it could be just a new person coming in. Um, there could be some reminiscing too. Like I say, lessons learned from the past, learning to do your due diligence simply for some of you, but there's the spark, the fire's lit, the attraction. Aces, three aces right here. Is the situation coming to fruition? This is something I feel that started a long time ago. Yeah, it's a person who wants to build. Not only do they want to build... But they're going to put in some effort. And I do think moving, relocating something for work too, where you went your separate ways. It looks like it was a useful energy. But like I say, there's something funny here. Your wish is their command. <laughs> they're going to ask you out. And I know you're waiting for me to get it. I've said it four times. Well, anticipation. Yeah, they're just going to wear their heart on the sleeve. They're going to put themselves out there. They want to work. Yeah, this is someone who's left the past in the past situations that no longer serve but this is somebody and i do feel they're very respectful okay there's a lot of respect they have they hold it held you in high regard they have a lot of respect here so they come in very nice they see your worth they have self-worth and value as well so whatever it is that happened it's gone i mean it's 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 not worth you know putting any effort into going on about it but yeah cute uh, and then we have the hangman. Yeah, taking a pause, looking at things from a different perspective, checking each other out. So are you ending up in the same place somewhere? Your paths are crossing. You're checking each other out. But this is someone who's gone within and they, they've gone, aha, that introspection. You are interested. <laughs> or you were interested. They're gonna, you're going to tell them the truth and then they're going to be like, what? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just sensible, practical. I mean, it's an energy with the Queen of Pentacles looking at this situation different. So you're looking at it different. They're different than they were before, but yet they're the same. You're both different, but the same. So it's just a matter, I feel, of looking how you look at it. But I think you're going to be kind of checking each other out. There's a lot of reminiscing back and forth. But yeah, this is someone kind of going to watch your body language and stuff too. Mm -hmm. They like what they see. <laughs> they find you attractive. Yeah. Yeah. They, oh my goodness. Yeah. They, they're, you've got things in common. People, situations, a lot in common. You're going to find these things out when you talk. You're going to have dinner with this person or a date, or they might invite you to their home and cook for you. Because I feel this is somebody who likes to cook. 
Yeah, they're stable too. Look at that, the king. This is the power couple. You got something special going on here. They're going to cook for you or they're going to spare no expense and take you out. But they're grounded and sensible. They're practical. You have something in common here. But they're acknowledging this. This energy of acknowledge. It's just things that are going to get acknowledged about your where you hurt them or they hurt your feelings when you were young. I don't know. Maybe you were just kids playing and, you know. One of you is tougher than the other one. <laughs> but like I say, it's humorous. This person has a, they have a sense of humor and they just say it like it is. I say dry wit, charm. Mm -hmm. But they're stable. They're acknowledging the things you have in common. Maybe you both had children. Maybe you had children young. Uh, you're talking about your histories. There's a lot of reminiscing. Yeah, this person sees you as marriage material. They're at that time in their life. You've maybe both been in relationships, commitments, but you're both stable. They see you as marriage material. I'll tell you, they will be watching your body language. And if you have people that you know, uh, a social circle of any kind, they'll be talking to them too. So there you go. There's a reason to celebrate. This person's planning something. They're planning and they're preparing. King of Pentacles is like the Queen of Pentacles, planning and preparing. They might be working out or focusing a lot on work, but they want to build. See, they're perfecting their craft and skills. This is somebody who, like I say, they nobody's perfect, I mean, but there's something about you that, that's just right here, I'll tell you. Yeah, see, you're just right. <laughs> Mm hmm. But I got to tell you, if you were aloof when you were young or they didn't know how you felt, you're probably going to tell them. Yeah, but you can see justice. Yes, they, they think you're just right. This is your marriage material. Yeah, there is other people coming together, all talking, saying good things. I don't know if there's a high school reunion, a gathering. It could be someone who's been traveling too, coming to visit. Uh, you know, old school friends or just an old neighborhood friend. You might have been just kids, but I feel there's a lot of really positive good news here. This is really positive. This person's planning something. I think it's at their house, their home. Okay. I I feel it. Yeah. And I, I really feel like they're going to cook something for you. It's telling you how to do your due diligence. Be wise. Don't offer. Don't act like the wife till you're the wife. This is an energy of change and change for the better. Okay? Mm hmm This person sees you as someone who's just full of love, too. And I feel it's going to be vice versa. You both kind of feel the same about the other person. Wheel of fortune. The time is right. See, the windfall of abundance. This is a whole new cycle with this person. Scorpio. Just don't be the wife till you're the wife. You can be kind, compassionate, just give a little bit. Let this person, it's an energy of letting them kind of indulge you, okay? Because let them plan. Because this is somebody here who's definitely, I mean, they're thinking marriage. Yeah, they're the commitment, faith. They have faith in themselves to make the right choice. I feel this is a faithful person. I feel they their lifestyle habits, the way they conduct themselves. They're going to be watching how you conduct yourself. They see someone very gracious. See, there's a gathering. They're, they they plan something. Now, I don't know if this is something that's already happened, but they're already planning something else. It has to do with making sure you're both on the same page. Lifestyles, you have a lot in common, the way you live your day-to-day -day lives. And I do see common friends, too, community. It does look like they may have traveled to come visit, though. Or it's somebody else. But it, it has to do with this person um, having faith. They may have Taurus in their chart. Strong Taurus energy. Yeah, I mean, this is, you know, a celebration, a gathering, a little party here. I think they're planning it. If you've had a date, you're going to have another date. Yeah, they're ready to take a leap of faith. They're going to take... This person at times kind of feels a little bit like a fool. Maybe how they conducted themselves in the past or vice versa. But like I say, it's playful, youthful, a good time. This is a little flirty, fun, nothing major. But I feel that you can see the transformation. They're ready to go down this path. I think it's yourself here, that Mars energy you have. You're going to take a leap of faith with this person. Yeah, you're 
Look at that, the magician, you're manifesting. You both have all the tools. You both bring something to the table. You mirror each other a little bit. But it's a lot of this energy of just manifesting in communication. If you're thinking of, don't be, this is not a good time for you to manifest by offering the cup. Let this person take this opportunity. Unless you absolutely feel time has run out, if you don't connect with this person, you might miss out. But I would let this person uh, come in. Because I, I see the energy of, if you take this leap of faith and go for it, like I say, they might feel like you're up to something. But I think you're both, you both kind of like want this. I, I feel like you both want it. I mean, it's obvious with this person. All the things you're talking about, reminiscing, the thing, the people you have in common. I see a lot of fun times. I see it just talking about youth, the good old days, by the looks of it for some of you. Not that it has to be the good old days. I mean, you could be, you know, fresh out of university. You could be in your 20s, 30s. It doesn't matter with this energy. So let's grab. Tell me about this King of Cups. Oh, yeah. They come in right, too. <laughs> I think you can see this person as marriage material. Let's have a look at this King of Cups. They could be any sign. Oh, yeah, they want, they're looking for love. Look at that cornucopia, the abundance. It doesn't get any better than this. Material and emotional wealth. That's the Feast of Plenty. I'm going to tell you, this person is going to cook you a feast. I think they're going to try to do something to impress you. And I think, like I say, and you might both do that to each other. But I'm going to tell you something. I really get the vibe this person knows how to cook. Maybe they're a chef. But yeah, there's passion. Like, <laughs> they, you know, the spark is there. So it's saying to be patient. Okay, be patient. I know some of you, too, stepping out of your comfort zone. It's about being comfortable. They need to make you comfortable. But give them a chance to get comfortable as well and be patient because the time is right. See, the timing is good. But it's all about schedules, routines. You may get a communication where they just ask you your schedule and routine here. But there could be other people asking you, right? There could be other people actually in the mix here too. But I see a victory. So there's some kind of victory, success, some kind of truth. Um, this is really, really nice. <laughs> I mean, there's just nothing really negative here other than a youthful heartache, hurt feelings, possibly a third party. <laughs> But it's youthful. It's when you're you're young. It's very young. Those cards are all about children, young. So you, whatever age you think the cutoff is for children. I mean, it could be teenagers, you know. They could be, like I say, going to school together. Because I see education here. Yeah. This is interesting. Yeah, I see the cross. Person's at the crossroads in their life, the time in their life. There's, yeah, like I say... Uh, they definitely want to talk. They want this to be... They're going to try to impress you. I'm going to tell you, they, they are... And I think this person's impressed with you, too. But it's about impressing each other. You just kind of put both putting your best, your best foots forward. But they're going to do something to impress you. Oh, yeah, they want to get this going. I see so much happiness and joy. This person, I feel like you're really... Oh, my gosh, this could turn into love. You know, this person is... Everything this do, this person does is heartfelt. Okay, I think this person had really, really thought they were in love with you when you were young. I see a teenager energy, and uh, but yeah, there was some broken hearts, but it's all good. <laughs> you, it's where you go your separate ways. You go off and live life. The journey. This is see the journeys that you've been on, the things you have in common. You're going to be talking about life, and it's going to bring you close to this person. So beautiful. Yeah, you can see there's a woman here yeah so you're looking at this there's a pentacle being offered a note to communication you're going to look at it stable reliable it looks like an invitation and there's the ship see somebody traveling or somebody wants to see you now it could be there's a friend who's traveling too coming there's there's a i don't know if it's, it could be a wedding maybe some people are getting married but you're going to connect with them so you're manifesting this there's going to be a lot of communication um after this that's for sure if, uh, the date or the connection but a lot of reminiscing and i see a lot of laughing um just playful silly stuff like 
I think this person is quite capable of being silly. They have their very serious side. When it comes to work, they're very serious. They always like to plan and prepare. But it's like something to do with their house, a party. I think they're planning something. And I don't know if there's other people involved because with the Ace of um, Wands, they want to get you alone. But know your worth and value. Okay? Put up. Don't be afraid to put up some boundaries. I think they're good with it. I don't think you have anything to fear with this person. They just want to be able to get you alone and talk. But the attraction's there. So, like I say... <laughs> Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles, he's stability. This person's stable. I don't know if they travel for work or what, but like I say, it's an energy of moving forward. Taking the lessons they've learned and moving forward. I don't know if they're flying in or someone, somebody is flying in. Or taking a boat, possibly. Yeah, but there is an er energy of needing to know more. See, they want to get to know you more. It's getting to know you all over again is what it looks like for some of you. Yeah, they see stability, someone stable, what they bring to the table, uh, someone who's reliable. They have a lot of skills. See the skills. You're talking about things. You're going to talk about everything. Yeah, look at that. Very good news. The start of something new. The start. Now, some of you, this could be someone who wants children. If you're younger, yeah, they could see you as marriage material, someone they'd like to have children with. But there is the news, some good news coming in to do with new communication. So I don't know if this person's relocating, purchasing a new home. If they've been living away or abroad, they're coming back. So I wish you the best. I still feel like if there's another person traveling, there's another person here between the two of you. Now, I don't know if this person's cheering you on, but it looks like they're solid, reliable. They're looking at the situation. They're also getting, they may also get an invitation. There could be a few other people invited, something they're planning, but I feel like there's going to be a couple things here. So take care and we'll see you soon.